Today we're going to talk about cheaper uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, so LiPo 4s that are cheaper on the price tag compared to the expensive ones out there. And this is the Lightime brand, so it's one of the cheaper ones. It's not the cheapest out there because, you know, the rule, you buy the cheapest and you get what you pay for. It's just going to be garbage. So this is Lightime. They're on the cheaper end, but there's a YouTube video out there that they tore this entire battery apart and they checked the compartments and the pieces inside and the soldering and they found out that this battery even though it's a cheaper on the end battery it had high quality parts inside the solder joints were perfect the spacing for the battery packs were correct so that there can be expansion so there was really good stuff in here and that's why I want to show you guys this one because it is a high quality battery for a cheap price. Now, what is this battery gonna be used for? Generally, there's a couple of uses. So one is if you're gonna do a direct replacement from the lead acid battery in your RV right now, then this would be the one you can just drop into the same hole. So you can pull the lead acid out, drop this one in. It's small, it's light, and you can just drop it right in. Let me get a tape measure so I can show you the measurements. Now this is 100 amp hours and it is 12 and three quarter inches wide. It is eight and a half inches tall, but with the terminals, you're talking about nine inches tall. And the depth of it is six and three quarter inches deep. So this will drop right into where your current lead acid battery is. And the cool thing is, your lead acid battery, uh, let's say you bought an RV, they're going to put the cheapest thing they can on that RV, you know, the lead acid battery. And you might get lucky and have a 100 amp hour lead acid battery. Uh, chances are higher that you're going to get a 75 amp hour lead acid battery. Let's say you have the 100 amp hour lead acid battery. That means you have 50 amp hours of usable power. Because lead acid battery, you can only drain down to 50% or else you're going to damage the battery. Well, LiPo 4, you can use 100 amp hours of power. So you get 100 amp hours of power. So technically, this battery would re be replacing two of those 100 amp hour batteries. Now, on my RV, I had a 75 amp hour lead acid battery. And this is the bad thing about those. So you go camping and you go in the mountains or you go and it's fall time or springtime and it's not warm at night and you need to run your heater to keep the RV warm because it's going to be freezing cold. The problem is those lead acid batteries, um, I had you know roughly 35 amp hours of usable power out of it and in one night I drained my battery down because even though it's propane heat, the fan on your propane heater runs and sucks down the battery. So I had one night of usable power and that was it. The battery's dead and now the next night you have no heater. So that really sucks. <laughs> this, on the other hand, because I almost have three times the amount of power and if I was a little more conservative, I could probably get three nights of power out of this. So I could go camping in the middle of the woods or in the mountains or even, uh, you know, when you think of crate and barrel, you pull over to a crate and barrel and you need to go camp out, you know, overnight in the back of the RV. With a lead acid battery, you might be pushing one night and then maybe you're freezing in the morning. So it's just, it's too, you know, scary to you know, too nervous to be worrying about that. That's why I say, drop this in, you, you don't have to worry about it. Now, another thing is, uh, 100 amp hours of power, and this thing costs maybe 190, 200 bucks, so it's very cheap compared to a lead acid battery, because a lead acid battery nowadays for, you know, 100 amp hour is probably about 160, 170 bucks, and that means you get 50 amp hours of power. So you're paying 160, 170 bucks for a lead acid that you're gonna get 50 amp hours of power or spend 190 or 200 bucks for twice the power 
and this thing is probably going to last you 10 to 15 years where the lead acid battery you're going to be lucky to get six years out of it and that's going to die so that's another benefit it's, it's cheap it's going to last you you know like 80 percent longer lifespan and it's just a uh, you know no maintenance you just you just put it in there and it runs now you see this cable i put on this one this is an sae cable and these cables run maybe seven bucks you know on ebay or amazon you know walmart any of those places seven bucks for an sae cable and i like to have an sae cable on the battery even if i have it in the battery box because then if you need to you can run this little uh mppt charge controller it's a 20 amp mppt and this is a 200 watt uh portable solar panel so it unfolds it's got nice long cables you unfold it you plug your mppt charge controller up to your battery and right here plug it in there and you can just have this running outside you know dangling out of the box and then you have an mppt charge controller you can hook directly to that solar panel i love this because i don't have to have a proprietary uh solar you know mppt charge controller or solar pack tied to this battery if i got a boat at home i can buy another sae cable hook it to the boat and then i can charge the boat if i have uh anything you know even your main uh different sets of batteries at home or in your rv you can just sae cable and run an external uh solar panel to it so it just gives you another option so that's mainly what I'm talking about on this battery. It's a it's a cheap battery, um, but it's not cheaply made. And I just wanted you guys to see, you know, that there are actually good batteries out there that's not gonna, you know, you're not gonna spend 500 bucks for a battery and you can get a good quality battery out of it. And like I said, the, these guys aren't paying me to say any of this stuff. They did give me the battery for free, but in the same case, I don't need the battery because I have a, a big battery bank on here. I just got this battery so I could actually do tests on it to see if it was gonna hold up for the 100 amp hours and to show you guys if this thing will hold up. Now, I'm gonna do a giveaway on this battery. If you leave comments saying, hey, I need a battery, uh, send me a comment, hey, I need a new battery. And if I read your comment, then, you know i'll just make a drawing of you know out of the whatever many people said hey i need a battery i'll send you this battery so so that's it for this episode and if you like what we're doing on this channel please subscribe because you all make it happen